Hey y'all, if you saw my uh, video for my home base, the compound, you might remember a house that was called uh, Pretty Princess, uh, aka the Cook's Quarters. When my friend saw the video, he was like, uh-uh, I want a home in the Mistlands. I don't want this one. I was like, okay, you're my best friend's husband, so sure, let's go ahead and do that for you. So I immediately went to the Mistlands and uh, started dying a lot when I was trying to build the house. So, um... I decided instead of doing that I would build his home using miscellan materials but I went to this nice intersection of uh, meadows, black forest, and mountain. And so let's go ahead and get started on the build. So down here in the basement we have the workbench and the forge which have uh, both just been updated to the point of uh, being useful. And then we have our storage area, nice organization. Over here is the home gym. We've got the Stairmaster. Up, down, up, down. Okay, you get the point. Uh, we have our bars for pull-ups or push-ups, whichever term you prefer. Here we have our treadmill. You can walk or run. And until the Valheim developers actually come up with the television, this will have to do. And over here, next, we have our punching bag. Uh, pardon me while I get a snack. And then over here we have the bench press. Uh, the idea was originally to use rocks for the weights. Um, I could not get the rocks to work with the vertical or the horizontal item stands. Uh, so we ended up with the troll heads. If you have any idea of how I, I can use the item stands to work with rocks, that would be great. Put it down in the comments below. Um, I would really appreciate that. So next we'll go all the way to the top. Where we are now is the main level. And then this up here is what I call the battle level or the defense level. Because we can go out here. We can look out. Start shooting from here. Go over to the sides. And I've also found that when I have events, I always come up here because it's a nice flat surface so I can uh, fight uh, all the bad guys uh, on an even playing ground. So I also use it to display my trophies. Uh, I do have the Ballista here and I've got podiums for that all over the place, but the way it is, it's pretty useless. Uh, the only thing the Belista ever hit was me, so I never loaded it a second time. It was just the first time, and then I was done. Then over here we have the two towers. Not huge towers by any means, just slightly elevated. Uh, they're actually the two bedrooms, um, but they're also good for a vantage spot for going after the bad guys, or deer, or pork. Um, I've got the stairs up going up and down on each one and that's pretty much it for the top so let's go down to the main level which is the living level uh, I've got the stairway uh, gated off so you don't fall down uh, this is my recessed fireplace it's actually just sticking out there in the middle of nowhere I balanced it uh, using a couple of angled iron posts. I don't know if it actually does any good or not, but it makes me feel better. And then, of course, we have the obligatory head over the fireplace, and I chose Ike here, uh, just because I think he is absolutely beautiful. And then we go over here to the dinner table. Everything's set out, and for the most part, it is keto-friendly. And then let's go out front. We can see the dock over here, the lighthouse over there, or what passes for a lighthouse. Um, with my builds, I typically build a wall as a defense, but since the view was so great up here, I used a trench instead. And um, one thing I've noticed is the troll attacks and the gray dwarf attacks really slowed down after I did the trench. Uh, Prior to that, I was getting trolls probably 
every other game day and troll um, excuse me gray dwarf attacks probably like every 10 minutes uh, since then you know the gray dwarfs have dropped by a couple times for tea and crumpets um, and I've had maybe three trolls total and I finished this build probably a month ago so I don't know if uh, the server decided the trench was not a good idea <laughs> and limited me or what's going on but anyway I just want to put that out there in case you're thinking hey trench is a good idea well maybe it isn't um, and then up here you will see that and I will try to butcher this French phrase I believe it is jolie princesse princess citadel uh, it's the French translation translation sorry about that for pretty princess citadel and the reason I call it that is because when I was down there building the dock I looked up here and it's like wow that looks just like the castle in Monty Python and the Holy Grail where the French Frenchman lived so here we go we've got a French castle close the door over here is a custom made table what I do is just throw the post down put a block four blocks on either side and then just rotate um, one by one floor tiles and that's how I achieve this effect and I think it's kinda cool uh, the flower pot is of course the gray dwarf brute trophies inside the vertical item stands and here we have a table for card games board games uh, doing your studies uh, just any purpose whatsoever and then over here we have the house pet and his name is sorry about that dumpster tick my friends uh, have a cat and one of them was found at or n inside or near a dumpster and their uncle gave the poor kitty the unfortunate nickname of dumpster cat so we've got dumpster kit here a dumpster uh, tick here and let me tell you tick does not love you tick wants to kill you tick wants to suck all of your blood out and he's got anger control issues um, as well because uh, I've had to uh, repair this crate many 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 times uh, so anyway that's dumpster tick and here we have the library or a small bookshelf I guess um, this is one of the uh, seekers that I was actually able to defeat instead of let it kill me so he has to be on display and then we've got some potions and then we've got uh, spell books and potion books and things like that with their circling trophy bookends and then more potions at the top and you'll notice that the Galder table and black forge are sitting up raised I wanted this featured so that anybody who walked into the house would know that magic is practiced here then we have a nice glass corridor looking at the other side occasionally gray dwarfs will fall in there and then I have to go in and kill them uh, otherwise they break the crystal and this here is uh, bestie and her husband's uh, room you know nice simple not much decoration just uh, banners and outfits for them so hopefully the pretty princess will like his bedroom and then mine is over here and it's basically the exact same setup the only difference is I do not have the crystal in the windows uh, I like the view and to me the crystal actually um, kind of let's see what's the word for it distorts the view um, but my friend prefers the um, crystal to be in there because she thinks that uh, things in Valheim will come in to kill her if they're not closed up and I can't really say that I blame her for thinking that so that is the house in a nutshell so let's go ahead and go to sorry for the lag the mistlands to see what it was actually supposed to look like and it is a bit of a mess right now when I went in earlier this week to get the tick uh, uh, y'all y'all attacked and uh, destroyed uh, a lot of it so here we go in here this was intended to be the grand entrance 
and then from there we have the two towers which were going to be the bedrooms and as you can see it was supposed to be a round tower but it was so small it was like uh, I don't like that and so when I moved over there I converted to the square towers and then again over here this would have been the glass corridor and then this would have been my area and then down here this would have been the general living area so as you can see the Mistlands home was much smaller than what I actually ended up building now I'm getting out of here so this is the not Mistlands home build for the pretty princess if you have any questions or comments uh, please leave them below thanks everybody Bye.